Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill, and thanks for joining us on Suncoast FYI today. We have Mo Marine Senior Aquarium Biologist Brian Siegel and Public Relations Manager Caitlin Fusco, the Vice Mayor of Palmetto Brian Williams, and the Mayor's Feed the Hungry 30th Anniversary Chairperson Shirley Pearson, and SNN's Marco Lomano, all next on Suncoast FYI. We are so fortunate to have Moat Marine right here at our doorsteps, and there's always something new and exciting happening there. This month, Moat is opening their latest exhibit called The Teeth Beneath, the wild world of gators, crocs, and caimans. Moat's Marine Senior Aquarium Biologist Brian Siegel and Public Relations Manager Caitlin Fusco are going to give us a preview of what their new show's about. Hi, thank you for being here. Thanks so much for Thanks having us. This yeah. is so wonderful. Yeah. I love going to Moat. It's oh, just, good. really it is just a dream to have you so close to us here on the Sun Coast. So your new exhibit, can you tell us a little bit about what people are gonna see? It sounds kind of wild and crazy. Sure, it's actually pretty exciting for us as well because these are new animals to our staff. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be able to see American alligators and common caiman in a brand new thousand square foot exhibit. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're just you know, animals that are totally unique to Florida. What are caimans? Caiman are like crocodiles that kind of shrink into wash. Uh, they're a much really? smaller species. Okay. Uh, they don't, they, uh, males max around around maybe seven feet or so. Um, so they don't get huge like our normal American crocodile mm -hmm. who can max out to almost 13, 14 feet. Okay, and is there a, a diff there's a name for them, crocodilians? Crocodilians is a whole group of animals that includes uh, alligators, crocodiles, caiman, and there's also ones in the far part of Asia, uh, Temistema and Garials are also part of that grouping as well. Okay, so all of them are going to be in this thousand... No, the exhibit's going to show just the American alligator and our common caiman. Okay, and you know, do all of these natively live in Florida or? The Cayman do now. They are what they you call do. an invasive species. Okay. So they, they're not from around here, but they are now. Okay. Um, they're more local to South America, uh, but they are now invasive species in Florida. The American alligator is one of, is our local species. And when, when were they first discovered here? When did? The, the common Cayman? Yeah. Um, that's a great question. I think in the mid 80s they were okay, discovered so in Florida. They've been, they've been here for quite some for time. Yeah. Okay. And Caitlin, uh, what can our guests, your guests, expect to learn from this exhibit? Yeah, we're trying to um, show everybody kind of the environment that these animals live in and kind of learn their backstory, learn about their biology and mm -hmm. all sorts of uh, information that they actually live here in Florida, kind of just like you were asking, do they live here? Mm -hmm. um, what's an invasive species? What does that mean? Um, and our kind of takeaway message is learning about these animals, learning about the environment that they live in and why it's important. Okay. So are there interactive um, elements to the exhibit. So if somebody wants to, if some, like one of you aren't around to give a tour, will there be something that they can go to and find out more information? Um, we do have a lot of exhibit content, mm -hmm. um, a lot of different signage that people can read all about, all the different kinds of species, mm -hmm. um, what kind of sounds they make, um, all different kind of information. Okay, so will they be able to hear those too? I mean, is there something that will give them the actual feeling of what the animal might sound like? Um, you know, I don't know. We're still working on having some kind of audio. Audio, uh, okay. Um, part of the display, so you Next can hear the mail, yeah. mail calls. Yeah. Um, but we, we will be doing narrated feeding sessions like we do oh, with our sharks. Good. Okay. Um, so when, when the animals are hungry, we will be doing a, a session with them training so people can okay. see and enjoy that. And the group is gonna have basically three areas of viewing. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be two, uh, four main windows in the front that's above water and below water, mm -hmm. and then our back balconies look down on them as well. All right, so. now are there regular feeding times that people can come to see this? We haven't place? gotten that far just as far as okay. scheduling, but I'm sure there will be at some okay. point in time. And when does the exhibit open? Uh, February 25th. So you can have a big kickoff party for it? You know it. <laughs> <laughs> are they all going to be dressed up with their little hats and bow ties on? <laughs> you have to come and find out. Exactly. <laughs> um, how, how many um, cr creatures, what, would you, what do you call them? Reptiles. Reptiles. <laughs> how many reptiles are you going to have in the... Uh, Our main display is going to have four. We're going to have uh, one female gator and three female caiman. 
Okay. And do they have different habits and things from, you know, one another, the male and female? I mean, do they kind of... Yeah, they're all unique animals in their own way, with their own unique personalities and behaviors. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. since these animals are new to us currently, we're right now in a learning process of who, who likes what, who likes to uh -huh. sunbathe where, who likes what food at one point in time. Interesting. So right now it's a very large learning curve for our staff. All right. Uh, uh, when did you get them? Uh, we got our female gator this week, actually, so she okay. is brand new to us. Okay, and where did you get her from? Uh, we got lucky enough that we have a really nice relationship with uh, the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, uh -huh. and we got a donation animal from them. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Caitlin, do, do the, uh, the animals, the reptiles, have names yet? They do not, actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> you might have a contest for that, right? Yes. Do you get attached to these these critters? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. As you know, as animal professionals are, we get attached to everything. Anything sure. down from a little shrimp to these now these large animals. Uh, but everything we we, take our, we love our jobs and we take a lot of passion and pride in it. And so having this animal care and this well welfare and having heart in it, it really does count. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, it's again, it's just amazing to have you here on the Sun Coast with us. And for more information, where can our viewers go to find out about your new opening exhibit on February 25th? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go to moat.org and learn all about our new exhibit. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Thank you so much Thanks for being for here. Us. Thank you. Appreciate it. When we come back, we'll take a look at Mayor's Feed the Hungry 30th Anniversary Celebration. So don't go away. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. They have been feeding the hungry since 1987. Vice Mayor of Palmetto, Brian Williams, and event chairperson, Shirley Pearson, are celebrating the Mayor's Feed the Hungry program's 30th anniversary. Wow, that's quite an accomplishment. Yes, it is. Thank you for being here today. Thank that's, you that's, so much that's for having us. pretty amazing. Thank you. Um, what sets the Mayor's Feed the Hungry program apart from other organizations that feed the hungry? Because Mayor Feed the Hungry, uh, what sets them apart is that everybody that's participating are volunteers, and all of the food that's always collected is given away free. There's no fees. There's nothing like that. So. It sets them apart from, you know, other organizations. Okay. So. Now, you have a lot a lot of events during the course of the year? Yes. Okay, yes, well, can we you do. tell us about those? Okay, one of the events that we have is like the 4th of July event that we do in Palmetto. Mm -hmm. And one of our major events that we do uh, once a year is our food drive in uh, November. And that is where you get organizations in Manatee County, Sarasota County, Venice, collecting food, schools, businesses, mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. And that's a major event. And then one of the other events that we have, that we're getting ready to have, which I'm really excited about, is our 30th anniversary. And so that is going to be on March the 22nd of this year, 2017. Okay. And that's a celebration of the founding of Mayor's Feed the Hungry, 30 years. It wow. was founded by Mayor Atkins in uh -huh. 1987. So we're going to be doing that major celebration this year. Great, so we're great. all excited about it. And Vice Mayor, it's, it's wonderful of you to continue the, the uh, tradition. What we do with uh, the 4th of July and some of the other events, uh, uh, Taste of Manatee, is we invite people to bring donations in, mm -hmm. in lieu of their fee to pay to get in the gate. So um, that helps to substantiate their food okay. drive and bring the canned goods in. Because you're always, there's always a need yep. to have food. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So are, are there locations that our viewers can drop food off at any time? Yes, uh, they can um, go to our um, uh, website and see all of our organizations that participate okay. as part with Mass Feed the Hungry and their numbers and they can see um, you know information on how they can donate and how they can uh, volunteer okay. and they can just go to the website mass feed the hunger website and see that okay now and speaking of volunteering how do people participate when you say volunteering? Okay, there is a Mayor's Feed the Hungry uh, website again and then there's a volunteer link on that right. website. Okay. And then they sign up that way and then someone will get a hold of them because mm -hmm. we have so many opportunities to uh, volunteer. Sure. Uh, they can come in, make phone calls, they can have us on a food drive. Right. 
uh, all of the different events that we have, they can volunteer for that. Okay. This so. program exists in Venice, Sarasota, Bradenton, Palmetto, and other communities. So um, there's different areas that you like the police stations and uh, some of the different realtors like Leslie Wells Realtor, mm -hmm. uh, where they can drop off food um, mm -hmm. or money. In the time from 1987 to current, they've raised 200, they've had 200 tons of food wow. that they've uh, collected so and uh, $2 million um, to be able to give out and gift certificates at the holidays. That's amazing. Now, can you tell us why you're personally involved in this, please, Mr. Vice President? I've, I've traveled the world uh, in the military and, and uh, I've seen how people in third world countries live. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that in America, because we're such a great country, that that we need to have kids or parents living in the conditions that they live in other countries. Mm -hmm. So, uh, by volunteering, and uh, I have uh, two granddaughters that volunteer to do different things. Uh, That's so, uh, you know, they go to food banks and help distribute food, and uh -huh. uh, it's important for them to help. And uh, so, by us teaching them, they'll carry it on in their future too. Yeah, absolutely, it's it's all about yep. getting the young people involved, and I. That's, that's wonderful yeah. that you have family members that, mm -hmm. that go mm -hmm. out and do that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Now, in addition to collecting food, are there organizations that also donate food to you? Where, where else do you get the food from other than volunteers, or is it all from people donating? We're doing a major food drive. Uh, Mass Feed the Hungry, uh, the food drive is in November, mm -hmm. and they get enough food for December and then Hanukkah. Those, that's their goal, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. uh, Christmas, and uh, Hanukkah. And what they do is doing a major food drive uh, in November, schools collect food. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Palmetto Police Department, Sarasota Police Department. All of them get involved. Um, uh, law enforcement gets involved with Mass Feed the Hungry too. Mm -hmm. And what they do is the police departments collect food, the schools, so businesses. Everyone gets yeah, and it's they, a community. It's a community, community event. event. Yes, and where they everybody help distribute gets it. involved. Yes, and you help distribute. They help distribute the food yes, because yes. Uh, it takes a, a large number of people to help distribute the food. Because when people come to collect the food, uh, we hand out the bags of food, carry sure. it to the cars for them, and you know just generally assist them uh, in getting getting it distributed to them. Well, thank you so much for both being here today. Ms. Pearson, good luck thank with you your so event. Much. Thank Vice you. Mayor, thank, thank you, you for, for, having us. for keeping the tradition up. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much thank for you. having us. Thank you again so much for being with us today. It was a pleasure. Coming up next, SNN's Marco Lamano is starting a new series highlighting interesting people on the Sun Coast you should get to know. He'll join us next to talk more about it. Welcome back to the show. Someone on the Sun Coast You Should Know is SNN's latest series from Marco Lano. Marco's going to tell us about it now. Thanks for coming on today, Marco. Yeah. So nice you have, to be back. You have a new series mm -hmm. that just started. Can you tell us what, what it's all about, please? Yes, well, this is what it's all about. What we have is we have a brand new series that we just aired the first episode this week. And what it is is we find interesting people from the Sun Coast, people who are contributing to the Sun Coast, people with a special talent on the Sun Coast, people with an extraordinary story who live on the Sun Coast, and we're introducing them to our viewers, basically saying, hey, this is somebody who's very interesting, who's very good, we think you should know them. You know, come on in, you will open the door, make yourself at home, and Here's the person's story. And so that's what we're trying to do with this new series. Okay, and and how have you chosen your first few guests that you're going to, to have on your series? Well, since this is a new series that mm -hmm. we just started, a mm -hmm. lot of it is asking people from, say, the Sarasota Memorial Hospital or asking people who are friends and friends of people mm -hmm. who, who know people with very interesting sure. stories. But now that we have some that are already done, we want to ask our viewers to contribute to this okay. and we want to say to our viewers if you know somebody with a phenomenal story mm -hmm. with a story that you think needs to be heard and it's somebody that you think the Sun Coast should know about we would like to know about them and so we urge people to contact us you know phone us 
in the news station right now. Okay. Um, we ask people to, to get in touch with me via email or mm -hmm. social media, meteorologist Mark Lamont or Twitter at Mark Lamont WX. I mean, so any of those venues. Number of ways to get a hold of you. Number of ways. Because okay. right now, you know, because it was new, we yep. couldn't just say, you know, please send us information so we can start this series. Sure. We wanted to have a series to show Absolutely. already. Absolutely. And so a lot of these, you know, one of the people who we can talk about, you know, uh, for next week is, is a woman who volunteers at the Sarasota Memorial Hospital mm -hmm. and doesn't get paid a penny, and that's how she wants it. And wow. there's a reason for that. And so we have a story that we're going to air to show you why that is. Mm -hmm. um, but now that you know we 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 filmed this already, mm -hmm. now we're we're opening this up to our viewers because mm -hmm. we want their input. Okay. What was the the catalyst behind all this? I mean, there are so many interesting people on 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 the Sun Coast here that we have. But where did this all begin? I mean, how did it all start to form? And well, we're very fortunate on SNN that we have a very broad viewer base. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously uh, we have a very big older demographic, but we also have, especially in the mornings, a very big young demographic, which is why we, we do talk about trending news and Hollywood news and things like that. And, you know, we do cover that, but one of the things we wanted to add as another layer is, okay, we're giving you this news for notable people whether uh, whether it's something trending or celebrity, what have you, mm -hmm. but we also want to share the stories of people who are here who you don't know about. Mm -hmm. People who maybe you've met once, maybe you've never met before, mm -hmm. but we think they're also quite interesting and mm -hmm. they also have a story to tell because what we have realized is that everybody has a story to tell. No matter how, I would say, basic or normal you think your life is, there's probably something quite interesting or something that you don't even know is that interesting about it mm -hmm. that you have to share. And that's what it's really about. So we're able to cover everything. We're able to cover you know, this younger, more celebrity news that I think it's more of a younger draw. Yeah. But for both young, both our younger and our older demographic, this is something where here's somebody doing something extraordinary. Yeah. We've already had, we, we already had one aired this week. Mm -hmm. We have one that's coming up for next week. Okay, and w what, what types of, of uh, people have you met that you're going to uh, be have yeah. coming up? Well, we, are, we already just talked about the, the woman who volunteers at Sarasota Memorial right. Hospital and doesn't get paid anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but she wants it like that. The one we aired this week, uh, this man was a character. His name was Ernie Orienti, and he is an 85-year-old who teaches people young and old how to hit the speed bag. And what, we've, what I found out through him is that, you know, the speed bag, you see it in all these boxing movies, you know, Rocky especially. Yeah. But all these boxing movies, you know, they are, they're hitting that thing like crazy, so quick and fast. But I never realized that there's a melody to it. There's a beat you're trying to draw uh -huh. out of the speed bag and he that does is there. This. And he does that. And he was oh, teaching cool. me how, how to, how to beep. You know, you're, okay. you're hearing this, but a boom, ba 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 da boom, ba 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 And so he was teaching it to me. He was a larger than life kind of personality. Yeah. He was teaching it to me. He introduced me to two of his students. Uh, one, I think, was in his 20s, and one, I think, maybe in his 40s or late 30s. Mm -hmm. But he taught the boat. We aired it on Tuesday. It's up online. Okay. And our next, of course, is that woman. And then we have some others we're thinking about. Okay. All right. Now, when, when does this series air? It airs every Tuesday, debuts in the morning for the SNN Morning Edition okay. that runs from 6 to 9. We air it once an hour, and then it airs throughout the day, and then we put it online. Awesome, awesome. And again, you said our viewers should call, suggest whether they have a, a family friend, member, someone that maybe has inspired them in the course of their life to give you a call? Absolutely. Call, email, Facebook, Twitter, any of those venues. If there is somebody who you think has a great story to tell, we would like to know about them. Please contact us. Awesome. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing it, Marco. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Suncoast FYI will be right back after a quick break. If you have a business or community event that you would like to share with Suncoast FYI, please call our sales department at 941-361-4239. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.